Tired of complicated green screen setups? What if I showed you how to remove video background without a green screen using just a script? Hello and welcome to Edit With Ease. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and today I'm going to show you a really useful feature, the Descript green screen. I'll show you how to remove video background without a green screen, saving you time and money. So let's get to it. Let's quickly talk about green screens. You've seen them in movies and weather reports. They're bright green backgrounds that get replaced with these really special effects. And video editors use them because green rarely appears on skin or clothes. And it makes it really easy to separate the people from the backgrounds. But setting up a green screen can be very frustrating, expensive, and time consuming. That's why the Descript green screen feature is so great. It gives you that green screen effect without all the hassle. First, you're going to want to import your video, just drag and drop it onto the screen. This is the video that I want to remove the background from. The first thing you want to do is click the element that you want to remove the background from. So you can click in the timeline or you can click on the actual picture or layer in your video and then click under Lord and then look for the look good part. This is the sound good. Then we've got look good and find the green screen feature that is right here. Click it and it will take just a minute or two. It depends on how long your your video is. But here it says it's applying the green screen to the picture and you can see here it's working on it. And this is the toggle switch. This toggle switch will either, oh, there it is. It happened pretty quickly. This here, it took out the whole background and you can now put this video onto any background. That's pretty neat. Now this green screen is, uh, this switch here is a toggle switch. It's either on or it's off. If you wanna get rid of the green screen altogether in your project, just click here and click remove effect and that will get rid of the green screen altogether. All right, so I am going to turn the green screen on again. We'll put her on to a new background. To do that, go over here to media. Just click it and we're gonna look for a background. We've got the stock video, the GIFs, stock images, stickers, and backgrounds. We're gonna do just click show all. And you can put her on a regular background or a video background. These seem to be video backgrounds. Let's have her, I guess, maybe sitting in a room by a window. So I'm going to type in here, house window. And we're going to do a stock video. We'll show all. Okay, let's try this one. This is dark, but we'll, we'll try this one. I'll go ahead and click it. All you have to do is click it and it will put it in here. Now, as you may have noticed, she disappeared. And that is because we have these layers here in the timeline. This is a quick way to get to it. Right click, layer order, and then send backward. Okay, you may have to do that a couple times. This time it worked with me just doing it once. Now. I'll just go ahead and play it. We'll see how it looks. That's pretty nice. Yeah, the window background isn't moving a whole lot. She's moving more than that, but I think it still looks pretty nice. I can try one more scene. Let's try this one here. I'll go ahead and click Control Z to get rid of that window. And then we're just gonna put this new one in here and we'll see how that looks. So I'll just drag and drop it. Okay, and remember, we're going to have to do right click and layer order, send backward. And this time we'll have to do it again. It's normal to have to do it twice. And then there she is. So let's go back and play it and see how it looks this time. Ah, oh, that looks nice. I really like that. Now you know how to remove video background without a green screen in Descript. I hope you found this tutorial valuable. If you know someone who would find this feature useful, go ahead and share this video with them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I'll share even more ways to edit with ease.